First thing I'd like to say is praise God. Would uh, I'd like everyone to flip to Numbers uh, 26. I mean, Numbers 20, verse 6. While everyone's flipping to uh, that chapter, I'd like to ask a question. What is trust? What is trust? It is the firm belief in the reliability, truth, ability, or strength of someone or something. Today, about trust, in my um, preaching, I'd like to focus on the two definitions of trust. The ability or strength of. Now I'm going to be reading uh, Numbers 20. In verse 6. Moses and Aaron went from the assembly to the entrance of the tent meeting and fell face down. Face down, and the glory of the Lord appeared to them. The Lord said to Moses, Take the staff, and you and your brother Aaron, gather the symbol together. Speak to that rock before your eyes, and it will pour out its water. You will bring water out, um, out of the rock for the community, so they and their livestock can drink. So what we read so far is the Lord, well, everybody knows that before the, Moses brought the people out of Israel and they were wandering the desert towards the promised land and they were running uh, low on water and so they were complaining to Moses and to God why have you brought us out here so we can die from thirst before this and then Moses went to the Lord and, to, um, and asked them and told them and the Lord told them to speak to the rock and so we'll continue reading from verse 9 so Moses took the staff from the Lord's presence, just as he commanded him. He and Aaron gathered the assembly together in front of the rock. And Moses said to them, Listen, you rebels, must we bring your, uh, you water out of this rock? But Moses raised his arm, struck the rock twice with the staff, water gushed out, and um, in the community and the livestock drank. And we read here, that he didn't, Moses didn't do what the Lord said. If we go back, the Lord said, speak to the rock before their eyes and it will pour out its water. So the, uh, Moses didn't trust in the Lord. He didn't listen to the Lord. Instead, he, went, he leaned on his own understanding. He hit the rock, not once, but twice. We'll continue reading um, uh, from verse 12. But the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Because you do not trust in me to honor me as, a, uh, me as holy in the sight of the Israelites, you will not bring this community into the land I give them. Did Moses trust in God? Of course he did. He listened to God when God told him to bring out, uh, the people out of um, Egypt. But... He didn't trust God in this critical moment to show to the Israelites that God is almighty. God told him to uh, speak to the rock, not hit it. But instead, he leaned on his own understanding and hit, uh, and hit it instead. And because of that, this one mistake, he w his um, privilege and blessing of going into the promised land was taken away. Just because he messed up once, but it wasn't just one mess up, it was a major mess up. A chance to prove to others that you believe in God, that the Lord is almighty and he has, um, and he has strength in everything. But some people just lean on their own understanding. And next, I will be reading about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in Daniel three sixteen to... Um, Daniel 3, I mean chapter 3, verse 16 through 30. Daniel 3, verse 16. Here, the story starts off with King Nebuchadnezzar 
when he was building a uh, golden image, an idol, um, to speak just shortly. And he, summed, he told everyone that whenever music played from trumpets and drums, they had to drop what they were doing and kneel down to this idol. So we start, we're going to start reading from, and then um, when the, the three people, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, did not drop down to worship the idol, Nebuchadnezzar summoned them and gave them another chance. But instead, they, uh, we're going to start reading from verse 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve will be able to save us from the, it. And he will rescue us from your hand, O king. But even if he does not, we want you to know, O king, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. Here, so far as we read, they say that even if Nebuchadnezzar throws them to the fire, they trust in God that he can save them. He can grant them freedom from this furnace. He can, uh, um, he will give them, uh, um, he will get them away from the um, hand of the king. Then continue reading on verse 19. Then Nebuchadnezzar was furious with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And this attitude towards them changed. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times hotter than usual. And commanded some of the strongest soldiers in his army to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into a blazing furnace. So, so far as we read, because these three young men trust in God, they're getting thrown into a furnace, not just a plain furnace where they burn, but seven times harder, I mean hotter. And they're also getting tied up and led by the strongest soldiers in the army. And we'll continue reading from verse 21. So these men, wearing their robes, trousers, turbans, and other clothes, were bound and thrown into the blazing furnace. The king's command was so urgent and the furnace was so hot that the flames of the fire killed the soldiers who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Here, it said that it, um, it killed the two soldiers that were leading them, or the soldiers that were leading them. And but what it doesn't say is that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were killed right there also. And these three men, firmly tied, fell into the blazing furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet in amazement and asked his, asked his advisors, Weren't there three men that were, tied, um, that were tied up and threw into the fire? They replied, Certainly, O king. He said, Look, I see four men walking in the fire, unbound and unharmed. And the fourth looks like the son, like the son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the fire, and the, um, the straps, perfects, governors, and royals, advisors crowded them. They saw that the fire had not harmed their bodies, nor was a hair of their heads singed, the robes were not scorched, and there was a smell of fire. There was no smell of fire on them. So here we read, even though they were thrown into the furnace, nothing happened to them. Because in the beginning, they trusted in God. They said that God can save them, but even if he doesn't, they'll still stand um, in the faith of God, and they will trust in him no matter what happens. Um, we keep reading on to verse 28. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and rescued his servants. They trusted in him and, defy, uh, and defied the king's command and were willing to give up their lives rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. Therefore, 
I decree that the people of any nation or language who say anything against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be cut into pieces, and their house be turned into piles of um, rubble, for no other God can save this way. Here, it even mentions the word trust. They trusted in him and defied the king's command. They were strong in the Lord. They trusted him. And not only did they get saved from the furnace, but they also got blessings. They, they showed other people the amazing strength that God has just because they said that we will not give up God for some idol. He trusted him. They showed to the people. And even Nebuchadnezzar praised God and said that there is no other God. That anybody that says anything against God will be killed and their house will be destroyed. That's the power of God. Um, that's the power of God and the power of trusting God and showing his uh, power of God and trusting in him. And when we trust in him, we can show to others the amazing uh, power that God has. They got blessed. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. They got blessed oh, amazingly. So comparing Moses to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Moses, he trusts in the Lord, but in a critical moment to show the power of God, he backed out. He didn't speak to it. I'm pretty sure all of us, all of us would like to see somebody speak to a rock, to tell a rock, pour out, let your waters out, and water comes out. You know how amazing that would be? But he didn't do that. And so because of that, he got punished and shattered Meshach in a major moment. Trust in God, wouldn't give him up. And along the process, they showed, um, they showed God not only to a couple people, but to other provinces, to the, king, um, to the king. So when we don't show the trust of God, we can miss out on so many blessings, on showing the power of God to other people. I, I um, would like to start uh, um, to have a prayer right now. Let's pray about putting our trust in the Lord and not leaning on our own understanding to make sure so, so that we don't miss out on any blessings, so we don't miss out on showing God to other people. Amen. Amen.